How's it going guys? It's Kyle with the How To Guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use another desktop or laptop as a secondary wireless monitor. So for example, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my desktop's monitor as a secondary wireless monitor for my laptop. And this should work on most computers as long as you're running Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Okay, so to begin, we're going to want to start out on the computer we're going to be using as our second monitor. So in my case, I'm going to be using my desktop. And we're going to need to configure a few things in the Windows settings to allow any computer to project to this PC. So we're going to want to start out by clicking the start button here and then click on the gear and that's going to open up Windows settings. Now go ahead and click on system and then click on projecting to this PC. And once here, the first thing we're going to need to do is add the wireless display optional feature to project to this PC. Now I find some computers already have this installed, but if you don't, what you need to do is click on the optional features button here and then click on add a feature and just scroll down to the bottom here and you're going to want to check on the feature that's called wireless display. So click the checkbox here and then click on install and it's going to take about a minute to install. So I'll be back once this is finished installing. Okay, so once the wireless display feature is finished installing, it's just going to say installed here. Now come up here to the top left hand corner and click the back button and that's going to bring you back to the projecting to this PC page in the settings. So up here you might have noticed a warning and you might get this on some PCs. It just says that this device might have trouble displaying your content because its hardware wasn't specifically designed for wireless projection. So even if you have this warning here, it should still work. Like for example, I have this warning here and everything still seems to work fine. Uh, even if you have this warning, still, you know, give this a try. I think the only things you might experience is maybe a larger delay or a longer delay between the two computers, or maybe you might see some weird graphical artifacts on the screen uh, every so often, uh, but uh, it's not really too big of a deal and it should still work fine. But anyways, the first setting we need to change here is some Windows and Android devices can project to this PC when you say it's okay. So by default, this is going to be set to always off. And we're going to want to either set it to available everywhere or available everywhere on secure networks. So if you only want to be able to project to this computer on a secure network, you're going to want to choose this one. Or if you want to be able to project to this PC on every single network, you're going to want to choose this one. So I'm just going to choose available everywhere just for this tutorial. And now ask to project to this PC. So a notification is going to come up in the bottom right hand corner of your screen every time a computer requests to project this computer. So if you only want to do that the first time you try and project, click this setting, the first time only setting. Or if you want to ask every single time, choose every time a connection is requested. And that's just the one I'm going to choose. Uh, if you want to require a pin to project to this computer, you can choose either the uh, first time or every single time. I'll just choose never. And then finally, this setting only applies to laptops, but if you want the PC to only be available to project to when it's plugged in. So for example, if you're on a laptop and you only want to be able to project to this computer or to your computer when it's plugged in, then set that to on. But if you don't mind it's projecting to the computer when it's running on battery, just set this to off. And then finally here, it's going to show your PC name. So when we try and connect this computer to use it as our second monitor, we're going to want to remember the name of the computer we're projecting to. So in my case, it's desktop H2E. And if your PC name is kind of hard to remember, you can just click rename your PC here. And then it's going to bring you to the about page in the settings and then click on rename this PC and you can change the name of your computer if you would like. But in my case, I'll just click cancel. And then I'll click the back button here and that's pretty much all the settings we need to do to allow your computer to be used as a second monitor for another computer wirelessly. So now we can just go ahead and exit out of our settings. And now that we have everything set up, we're going to want to go ahead and head over to our main PC. So now over here on our main computer, the computer we're going to be projecting from, so in my case my laptop, you're going to want to start off by pressing the Windows key and P and that's going to open a projection menu on the right hand side of your screen. And now come down here to the bottom and click on connect to a wireless display. So that's going to open up the connect menu here and your laptop or your computer is going to search for all of the devices on your network that are available to cast to or project to. So hopefully at this point, the computer that we just set up is going to be shown in the list here. So in my case, desktop H2E. So all you have to do is click on it and it's going to attempt to connect to the computer that you selected. 
So now here on my other computer on my desktop, a pop-up came up and it's asking if you want to allow my laptop or your other computer to project to this computer. So we have four options here. Always allow it to project, allow it to project once, lock it once, or always block it. So in this case, I'll just choose allow once. And now it's going to attempt to project your desktop to the other computer. So it was successfully connected. So now I'm projecting the desktop of my laptop to my desktop. So now back over here on my laptop, we can now click off the connect menu. I actually did say on the connect menu that everything was successfully connected. So by default, you'll probably see a duplicate of your desktop. For me right now, it's extending my desktop because I've done this before, but by default, it's going to be duplicating whatever is on the main screen of your laptop. So to fix this, if you want to extend your desktop, you're gonna to want to press Windows key and P again. And by default, it's gonna be set to duplicate. But if you want to extend your desktop, just click on extend here, and that's going to extend your desktop. Uh, and the next thing you're gonna to need to do is right click on your desktop, click on display settings. So it picks up the wireless display as a whole separate monitor here, and that's denoted by the two here. So the, this monitor here is my wireless monitor of my desktop. So you're gonna to want to pick it up and position it relative to where your main computer is. So for example, my laptop is to the left of my desktop monitor. So I'm gonna to want to make sure that the second monitor is to the left of my main monitor here. Monitor here. And you're just gonna to want to pick it up and drag it. That's so when, uh, when you click apply here, what it's gonna do is if you drag a window or drag your mouse to the left, it's going to move the window to our second monitor. And now that we have done that, we can exit out of the settings. So basically now that we have configured our settings and everything is connected, that's pretty much all there is to it to setting up a wireless display on another computer. But there are a few other things we can configure here. So at the top here, we have this toolbar. And if you wanted to, you can hide it by just clicking the pin button there. And you can unhide the toolbar by just moving your mouse to the top of the screen. We have a gear icon here and you can change the type of activities you're gonna be doing on your second monitor. And this will increase the performance of your second monitor so it'll be kind of less laggy and there'll be less of a delay so i'm assuming gaming would produce the best performance however I, i've tested a few of these settings out and i've noticed they really kind of don't help but i'd probably recommend maybe keeping this on gaming so you get the best performance on your second monitor another thing we can do is if we come down here to the action center and then if we click on connect You'll see our desktop here and you can check this checkbox here if you want to allow input from your other computer so you can control this computer so in my case my laptop from my desktop so i can use my desktop's mouse and keyboard to control my laptop here so if you want to allow your other computer to control this computer you can just check the box here if you would like that and finally if you want to disconnect your secondary wireless monitor from your main computer here all you have to do is click on the disconnect button and uh, that's going to disconnect the two computers from each other. So overall, I would say the delay of the second monitor is pretty good. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the smoothest, I'd give it like a 7 or 8. If you're just doing some simple tasks on your computer, like web browsing, writing some Word documents, or doing some emails, uh, the second monitor will perform pretty well. If you're going to be watching videos, I've noticed that the videos load, but they're quite stuttery and not very watchable and uh, don't even think about doing any gaming. Uh, in this example, I was playing some Minecraft and even just after a few minutes of loading the game in, uh, the whole Connect app or the whole second monitor just completely crashed and closed on my desktop. But anyways, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.